Well, recently, uh, there have been a lot of attacks on GG33. People um, think they can take me down. Um, I don't even see how that's even possible. I'm bigger than I've ever been on IG and TikTok and YouTube. Uh, Elon doesn't like me. So, again, uh, Twitter is kind of messed up. But these people live their lives on Twitter. They have nothing else. So they believe since my account was removed, it's a good time to start attacking. So what I realized and uh, did some investigation, I actually called in some favors today and I found out what's going on. So uh, this one faggot called Isaac's Army, he's on uh, Twitter. He basically started a hit piece on me. And he tried. He started infiltrating Beacon, started infiltrating GG33 Academy, and they couldn't find anything incriminating there. They couldn't get to uh, the main GG33 Gold, Bronze, and Silver. They couldn't get there. So what they started to do was they started uh, to you know create a bond with haters and trying to push me. These people are insane. They really think that they're um, astral fucking warriors who are here to uh, basically fight. The good fight against the evil Gary the Numbers guy who's a Satanist. These people actually believe this. These mentally ill fucks actually believe this. So now I did some investigating on Steven. And Steven's not the leader. Steven is uh, pretty much a pothead who believes that um, he talks to God. I mean, we've ran into many of those uh, this year. And uh, Steven couldn't even keep his family together. Uh, he has six kids and he does, he, he's divorced. His wife left him because he's insane and uh, he never paid for child support. Uh, he doesn't have a bank account. He doesn't have anything. He uses his kid's bank account, uses his kid's PayPal, which I will be shutting down within about a week or so. So uh, people have already reached out to PayPal to shut down Steven's fucking money because he doesn't make any money, but I'm going to squeeze him, take what little money he has left. So what I'm going to do right now is play a video from someone who used to be Steven's girlfriend. I want you to listen to this, and, I, and I'll, I'll post the full video later, but I just want you guys to listen for now. Point out one thing. The bank account that Steven uses on his PayPal account is not his. The one that he was using actually belonged to his son. Steven doesn't really own a bank account. And Steven also is very interested. His main thing is getting pot money. All right. Now, that's what it was in the past when I knew him. The main thing. Is so he's not interested in uh, feeding his six kids. He just wants money to smoke weed. This delusional piece of fucking shit. That he needed to be supplied with with his, you know, his nugs. So uh, I'm letting that out of the bag too. But a lot of you guys probably already know this. Oh, by the way, I, I was in a relationship with Stephen for six years, so I, I kind of know him. Well, I've known him for a long time. So let's put it that way. Thank guys. So that is Steven's ex-girlfriend of six years basically exposing this piece of shit. And believe me, we just got started. We have just got started on this fucking fact. Uh, let's move on. Next video we have. Listen closely. The FBI has actually raided this guy's house. And what's interesting is uh, my people reached out to the FBI today. So I want you guys to know. He, it took him four months to try to get into GG33 Academy, into Beacon. It took me a day to infiltrate all his stuff. I have everything, and I've given everything to someone who is going to give it to the FBI. But, you know, the FBI is really aware of Steven. Listen. He wonders why law enforcement comes to his door. I heard that he he says on this next video that um, that they that, that, that they did they did show up. That the FBI questioned him or something. Whether he so again, we have a man who's being questioned by the FBI. FBI, And by the way, Stephen, I know you're going to listen to this. You're going to get raided by the FBI again. I guarantee it. Because sometimes you fuck with people above your weight class. Now, you might look at me and think, oh, this guy's easy pickings. But the fact of the matter is I'm very important to very important people. And I called in the favor today and I have everything of yours and Isaac's and everything. So here's what's going to happen in the future. I'm coming after you, boy. I'm coming after you, boy. 
and all of you fucking fake ass Christians who believe you're fucking so special and you have mystical powers in the astral realm. Tell me, you fucking faggots, why is it all you people who supposedly have power in the astral realm are broke? You're broke. You couldn't even fucking provide for your kids. Your wife left you. We've heard this story over and over and over with these people. They said they, they're going to say, oh, Gary's a Satanist. Yo, bro, I, I, my family's together. My wife and my kids are together. I provide for my kids. You couldn't provide for anything. So as the days go on, I will be exposing this fucking faggot more and more and more. And Steven, I have everything of yours. I have all your telegrams, all everything you have, I have now. You're done, bro. Pretty soon, they're going to come in there and knock on your door. And your fucking mentally ill ass will be fucking taken away. Fucking piece of shit. You know what? I'm going to be very honest. I'm getting sick of these fucking mentally ill Christians who believe everything is Satan. And somehow they are God's warriors. Yet these can't even fucking keep a family together. They have no relationship with their parents. No relationship with their kids. They got nothing. Listen to me. Steven, I'm going to take you out for fun. Legally, I'm going to take you out. But uh, Isaac, I'm coming for you. I'm going to fucking tear you apart. Piece by piece. You've been coming for me for five months undercover. I'm not a fucking beta bitch. I don't have to fucking go undercover. I'm coming for you. You understand? You have no money. You're a brokey. And guess what? I got money to fucking spend just to fuck up your lives. So I'm coming for you. Remember, with the, by the end of the year, going into the snake year, these people will all be gone from social media. Every last bit of them. And, and quite frankly, they belong in a mental institution. A mental institution. That's where you fucking faggots belong. I'm I'm so sick of these fucking weirdos fucking who can't keep a relationship with their wife, their kids, their mom and dad. And all of a sudden they say they're chosen by fucking God to fucking fight Satanists. I'm not even a fucking Freemason, you fucking faggots. I'm going to tell you this. I got money to spend and I don't care about yachts. I don't I don't care about Lamborghinis. Only thing I care about is getting even. I'm coming for you, boy.